Well, switching gears now to Christmas Day weather on the Sun Coast. Wendy, you were trying to create a little winter in your own home, you were oh, saying. Oh my gosh, just, I had to have the air conditioning <laughs> on. It was so very warm outside. And you know, if we had to go on solar power, I'm looking for a, for the day when they just have a little thing, no bigger than this, that can just follow the sun around. Oh, Wouldn't yeah. that be great? Yeah, perfect. And you just sort of stick I'm it sure. and stake it sure out they can whip backyard. one of those up pretty <laughs> just, quick. Yeah. Hey, I know they can. They're I know they can. They're smart people. And they're going to do it. They're yeah. going to do it. And today would have been the perfect day we could have had our 74 four degrees all solar powered wouldn't that have been great look at the high today it was 85 degrees we tied the record once again and once again just as we did in 2015 we had these two days in a row of 85 degree weather and that is what happened today and so what we're looking at is 85 for the high 65 for the overnight low and the record was back in 1983 of 22 degrees. Now, normally we're supposed to be at 52 and 72. We're going to see that in the upcoming days, but not tomorrow and not Tuesday. So this is what we're looking at. We've got temperatures right now in the low 70s, mostly fair skies, temperatures in the, uh, or the humidity at 84%. The winds coming in out of the east at around 11 miles per hour. And temperatures all around the state are really quite mild. You can see those readings up in the northern parts of the region, 60s and 70s and down to the south. We're still very close to 80 degrees. In places like Miami, it's 79, Key West, 78, and right here along the Sun Coast, mostly our temperatures are in the 70s, but once you get away from the water, we're starting to see some 60s popping up, but still in the high 60s for the most part, low 70s everywhere else. And we are under fair skies right now. In fact, we haven't had any rain today. We had a couple of showers forming along the East Coast. You'll notice how very widely scattered they are. They're not holding together very well. They're very light as they come across, and they're not going to be moving into our, our area tonight. So we don't have to worry about showers forming, but we will probably see some fog developing after about two in the morning. We can expect to see some fog and that will stay with us throughout the morning hours. Now here's our hope for some cooler weather and that is in the form of this cold front that's going to be moving across the country over the next couple of days. In advance of that frontal system, we are looking at some rain showers. The low pressure to the north bringing about the very wintry conditions that we're seeing across the northern plain states. And in contrast to that, we're in in the 80s right here across parts of Florida. So near record highs once again for tomorrow. A foggy morning will start to clear out and then we're looking at cool weather coming in by the end of this upcoming week. And this is what we can expect to see over the next several days. Temperatures stay in the 80s through Wednesday. That cold front coming through bringing us a 20% chance of rain. And on Friday, we'll see the coolest weather of the week. Adam?